A fossil hay from CFA, Ashby Gale here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures. I'm back out today. I'm taking advantage of a really strong nor'easter that came through yesterday. I actually tried to come out here yesterday, got to the landing, looked at the water, and realized it was way too rough for any small crafts to be out there. There were probably about 20 mile an hour winds. Um, most of those were sustained. So I decided to wait it out, come out today, and see if the wind churned up anything really cool. Let's go see what it left us. Right off the boat, and already just like that, I have a dolphin tooth, a handful of shark teeth, stingray tooth, shark poop, and some coral. It looks like it's going to be a good day. Sometimes the small teeth are just as exciting as the big teeth. This little guy is quite little, but he is a member of the Megalodon lineage. This is probably one from Angustodens, it could be from Chubutensis, and it is definitely a juvenile. Look at how tiny that is. Very unusual position within the jaw. Has that nice little heart-shaped uh, outline to it. So, pretty cool. Definitely a trip maker. First big tooth of the day. Had to go back and get the camera, set down my knee pad so I could remember where it was. And there we go. Some member of the Megalodon lineage right there. And we've got a nice sand tiger shark tooth. Looks like there's a big fish vertebra right here. Yep, that's about half of one, actually. So it would have been about probably out to there. Pretty cool. We've got a Mako. Alright. Oh, and it's another one where the sea lettuce is attached to it. Not too bad. Here's an exceptionally nice cow nose ray tooth. Don't see them complete at dredge sites too often, but you can tell it is because of those hexagonal corners. I'd gone through a little bit of a dry spell, but this little serrated tooth sure picked things back up. Some type of member of the Carcaracles lineage. Now what I didn't mention at the beginning is there's another reason I'm out today. I need to exercise my left arm, and that's because this morning I got my first dose of the Moderna vaccine. So I'm pretty excited. I was fortunately able to get grouped in with educators and teachers, people that get exposed to large groups of people and uh, are considered essential. Our, our teachers definitely are essential. And South Carolina teachers, most of them have been teaching since the beginning of this school year. So I'm exercising this arm, making sure that it stays nice and strong for that vaccine that just got put in. So uh, maybe that'll give me some superpowers or something to find something cool out here today. If that last tooth picked things up, then this one is throwing things into the air. Look at that beautiful enamel shining through the mud. All right. Water's going down, teeth are coming up. Another beauty. This one's going to be a larger sand tiger. And right next to him, a little K-9 
cow nose ray tooth. You know, these sand tigers never get old. They just have such great shapes, especially when they have that little extra cusplet on the side of the main crown. Well, I was literally 10 feet from the kayak getting ready to leave when this tooth presented itself. Nice little juvenile tooth from none other than Carcaricles and Gustavans. Well, we don't get too many of these, at least at this size. A nice partial vertebra from some member of the Megalodon lineage. It's another really calm, really clear day. I wonder if I'm going to be able to spot any giant fossils underneath this water. We'll find out. a live reveal of this one. Beautiful two-tone upper tooth from a snaggle tooth. Oh man. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, a little bit of tip damage there, but beautiful colors that's going to dry out really nicely. So this is pretty cool. The water line is all the way down there, probably a good 20 feet away. And yet, here's this little shark vertebra still holding water. Really beautiful example of a member of the Carcharhiniformes order. We have a partial blade right here. Still a nice one. Okay, it's time to play another round of Can You Spot the Fossil? We are currently on expert mode. All right, we're gonna zoom in a little. We'll say this one is intermediate. And this one is easy. Look at this guy. Giant shark vertebra. It still has the limestone filling it. But that is going to clean up real nicely. Searching along this little ridge material, I came across this. A really large sand tiger. Looks like that tooth is going to be the tooth of the day. I've had a few of these that were exceptionally nice. tooth, upper tooth from the extinct great white, Carcharodon histalis. That one is in really nice condition too. Take a look at this really large fish hyperol from a billfish or a tuna. The last tailbone that they have in the spine. That is beautiful. Wow, look at this one. Those laughing gulls are not laughing at me. Whew, look at that dental band. That is absolutely gorgeous. Boy, it's ones like these where you wish the root was there. But hey, that is an absolutely beautiful tooth. Headed out to one of our Patreon supporters for the month 
of March. In addition to sand tigers being the shark species of the day, looks like fish vertebrae are going to be another fossil of the day. This one is pretty cool because it is actually two that are still articulated. So these are technically associated vertebrae because they are from the same fish in the same position that they were in that fish's original spine. That is really cool. Well, I wasn't going to film this one because it seemed like it would have just been a partial blade, but then this thing is really stuck in there, so let's see how big of a tooth. Man. Yeah, it's not too bad. And there it is, all cleaned up. Pretty nice. I just found this poor little fish. He's a long way away from the water. Maybe someone can help me identify him. <coughs> Let's get him back where he belongs. Here you go, buddy. Let me know in the comments if you recognize that type of fish. That's a first for me. Like clockwork, anytime it's ready to go, that's when all of the good finds start appearing. Like that guy. One of the more complete teeth of the day. Lower lemon. I'm about 30 feet from the kayak, and I really want one more nice find. Doesn't have to be a tooth. A really cool bone. A vertebra. Anything. A nice whale or dolphin ear bone. Not a triangular rock. The laughing gulls seem to think that's funny. A chunk of coal.
there's a nice snaggle tooth. That's not a terribly bad one to end on. But still got 15 feet to go. I once found a really large crocodile coprolite in this section, so something like that would be cool. A little bull shark. Lots of gravel. But not a lot of teeth. Well, unfortunately, here's the boat. It's low tide. It's an hour from sunset. It's going to take me an hour to get back, so I think I have to call it a day. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to uh, give it a like. Uh, remember to subscribe and turn on that bell for notifications. And definitely feel free to share this with uh, friends and family that would enjoy it. I'm pretty close now to reopening my business uh, for 2021. As I mentioned earlier, I did go ahead and get the vaccine today. I will be fully vaccinated by April 13th. So depending on when this video comes out, I might be fully vaccinated. Um, hopefully this will get out before the middle of April, but I hope to see many of you that are watching this summer if you're interested in a tour, the link for the website is down in the description below, and uh, it's a fully private model. So even though I am vaccinated, uh, I know many of you may or may not be. So I will be grouping tours as private family units. So each day I take one group out and that's it. Um, I don't want to mix households. Uh, to increase your risk of exposure to anyone else other than myself. So more details on all of that to come in the future, but just a little uh, snippet of that for right now. All right, thanks again, and 